pick off. Um, well, whoever gets possession on kickoffs, they get to take the ball to their back corner. Meanwhile, other player goes to get boost in their half. So try win possession, then just take it back. Okay, so we're doing, yeah, so we're doing gentlemen's rules in the face-offs. Let me change my title, actually. So gentlemen's rules and face-offs. It's going to be not, not civilized rumble here. Nothing civilized about this rumble mode. I did do Europe. Yes. Okay. Nothing. Not Greg and who? <laughs> oh, Greg is not going to be happy if he's listening. That people don't know who he is. He's his networking. His inner network self is going to be going crazy at all these Greg and who comments. But um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So gentlemen's rules and face-offs. Whoever wins possession on the face-off is going to dribble the ball back into their half and collect boost. Meanwhile, the other player will go get boost and get ready to defend and attack. Just to just to make sure that we get to see more rumble power up. So Gregan wins the face off. He's going to dribble the ball back into his own half and get the boosticles. And MK has got boost as well. Now we're just going to proceed as normal. MK is allowed to uh, challenge Gregan in his own half as long as power ups are available. Okay, Gregan gives MK the unlim unlimited boost. Good timing on that one because MK actually couldn't do anything about this. He he was forced into boost. And he tried to go for the spikes challenge. If he'd hit the ball on the spikes challenge, it would have almost certainly been a goal for him. Uh, because he did have the unlimited boost. Pretty low to the ground. Okay, Gregan's gonna win the boost rate or the ball the possession again. <laughs> MK accidentally bumps him and he's taking the ball back into his half. I mean it was Gregan's possession, to be fair, to him. I think this went as it should have. MK may be thinking he won the possession there, but Gregan clearly was first to the ball. And uh, we don't have... Oh my goodness, we don't have any power up for MK, but Gregan nearly hooped that ball in. What the... Okay, spinny shot by MK, but he saved it with the tornado. He nearly looped a, ball, a shot in with the initial tornado. Oh, Gregan's freeze gets denied. He gets shut down. He's going to stay close to the ball, try and deny MK any space. Will he have any more plunger plays? It's uh, something to look out for, because Gregan had a decent plunger attempt earlier, but he's give, been given unlimited boost. Not the worst time for Gregan to be given unlimited boost here. He did go for a demo also. Oh, and now he's got the unstoppable shot. Unstoppable force powered up. And he's going to boom it into his own corner. Interesting strategy. He really had to do something there after the initial whiff. And he's got the long shot on net. And MK's trying to magnet it back out, but he can't keep it out of the net. MK down by two against a caster. What is this? Gregan, of course, with the loaded condom hat. He's uh, gone for the lime-colored variation today. Throwing a little bit of flavor into the hat. And the gentleman's rules do result in an MK face-off here. Okay, low magnet play. I would have liked to see him take that to the skies, just air dribble it. He has actually saved the shot with the magnet. Well played it to recover and get something out of that, but he's out of boost. Definitely hoping to get a power up that can displace the ball far a long distance here is MK. But Gregan's got one instead. The Haymaker would have done an absolute wonder for MK right there. He might have been able to score uh, with it. Gregan misses the open net. MK was shadowing it or coming up behind him like a shadow. And there's the shot with the Haymaker. That's exactly what he needed last time. This time he gets it in the same position. Beautiful angle by the freestyler. He passes it to himself, and then since he doesn't have a teammate, he's just going to finish it himself as well. Great setup. Great positioning off the wall by MK. Back within one. Is he going to win the faceoff this time? No, he won't. Greg and is actually going to score direct because MK's faceoff is so bad <laughs> that, that it's just going to go right in. Right here. He actually dodged far too far, so he couldn't dodge a second time when he reached the ball, and all that happened is that. MK turned his car into a ramp for the ball to ramp up off and then go into his net off the ceiling. Not ideal for him. Resulting in another lost goal immediately after his hard work. Normie goals, aye. 
You love the yellow hat. It's I believe it's lime colored. I believe it's lime colored. It it doesn't perfectly match the the green. Just got annoyed. Oh, they both have spikes, but unfortunately for Greg and MK, spikes are a lot more useful because he has the ball, and Greg and does not. Decent setup. He's just gonna get the spikes and then freestyle it in. Greg and not even close. <laughs> he prefers to be called Pulse. I right, mate. That's a, that's what I like to tell people just to trigger him. If you want to trigger her MK, call him Pulse because he doesn't like it. Really quickly, I'll update the sub goal because I, f I keep forgetting to do that. And I'll do shoutouts after the series, as always. Greg is setting up and off the wall here, Dribble. Of course, these are made more viable by the power ups. Who knows what he's got? Oh, he's got the boot and it works! I don't know how this worked, but somehow MK is missed on the save. I feel like he might have overrated Gregan's air dribble here. He expected there to be more touches, but actually Gregan had already stopped touching the ball. The boot was just an afterthought, a little bit of salt in the wound. <laughs> MK saying that he thought Gregan is something else. He expected the air dribble to be going further into, um, into his net. Actually jumped in front of the ball. But Gregan actually managed to... He managed to mind game MK. Okay, he's going to fire wide in his shot. Definitely something that Gregan could work on. I've heard him talking about this on his stream, uh, that he needs to improve his shots. His boomers are lacking. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a boomer challenge, though. Oh, and the boot, the revenge by MK. And the open net finish, surely. Yes, he will get it. Gregan feels the sting of MK's boot. Oh my goodness, he got clattered by that one. Gregan even tried to recover by dodging. It still didn't work. He got absolutely smashed. So we're back onto the lime-colored condom hat car, and now onto MK. I, has anybody seen Linkaroo's wheels, by the way? If you've not seen Linkaroo's wheels, I'm sure he'll make a YouTube video about it, and if he he should definitely make a YouTube video about it. Oh, grappling hook challenge by Greg and freeze for, from MK. The ball is going to be up in the air for a while here. Okay, MK just going to wait for it to drop. Pretty smart play. But like I was saying, definitely check out um, Linkaroo's video. If he puts it up, if not, he's, it's on his Twitch channel. Of his uh, his wheels, he's managed to mod his what are they called again? His uh, zombas, zumbas, I don't know, zombas, and they've got Marky Duda's face doing the eyebrow dance, and that's my attempt to do eyebrow dance. I can only do it with one of my eyebrows. I can't do the other one. <laughs> it's so funny though. It looks amazing. Bye. Got to go sleep. Where are you in the world? You've got to go sleep. Actually, don't answer that. Just go to sleep. I'm keeping you awake by by asking a question. No boost grab by MK, he already has full. Gregan gets a little bit too far away from that, but it was due to MK giving him the boost. So, good play by MK. Gregan was going to try and manipulate the ball infield with the magnet, but he was oh, way too far ahead of it, thanks to MK's uh, gift of unlimited boost. Oh, MK definitely has the plunger. He's parked in the net, can't manipulate it into the net though. You could see he, he was going for a plunger play right there, but Gregan managed to get the ball clear with the boxing glove. And the mind game, Gregan going low. MK does get a touch on it. Oh, this should be a goal for Gregan if he can just drive near the goal. Oh, he tried to pendulum swing it in. I thought he was just going to drive straight into the net here, uh, right there, as quickly as possible. Another boot. Gregan is tripping all over the place. He's back in Amsterdam. But uh, it's not going to result in a goal. We need to see two goals. Pretty quick succession here. Swap by, I believe it was Gregan. Oh, it was. And it worked out just well enough because MK was not able to get the initial shot on target. This looks like it's going to be game one to Gregan. MK needs desperately to find a couple of goals, and Gregan's given him the unlimited boost. This is not going to help. <gasps> Unfortunate for MK. He nearly managed to salvage that and get a plunger goal, but he's going to be down by two at the end of this, unless there's a consolation goal for him. He's going to try, and he's dropped it. He had the... Okay. <laughs> what the? Did, <laughs> did that boot happen after the game was already over. The, you can use the boot after the game was already finished, apparently. That's pretty funny. But Gregan takes the lead, more importantly. He's uh, having a good debut on stream. I believe, oh, actually, it might, is it his debut? I can't remember. If Gregan's been on stream before, he's been on stream, but maybe not playing. And I, I was needing somebody to play MK and Rumble, and I thought I know exactly who to ask. Uh, Gregan's always boasting about his Rumble capabilities. He's, uh, he says he's got a good mind for Rumble. He's figured out all the power ups. 
I know that himself and the old Supersonic Avengers guys, before I think I say are now completely disbanded. Uh, Doomsy, Lamp, and Snasky. Before they did, though. Okay, Gregan's actually just going to concede possession. He didn't think he had time to dribble it back into his own half in time. But of course, defending in Rumble is easier than defending in uh, a regular 1v1 because most of the power ups tend to make it easier to keep the ball out of the net rather than put the ball in the net. Although some of the power ups are very easy to score with, such as spikes and uh, the unstoppable force. There are so many power ups like the Haymaker and the Boot and the Freeze that are just absolute shutdowns on any offense. And that's why we generally see lower scores in Rumble 1v1 than in a regular 1v1. Gregan still thinks he's good at RL. Lol. Is, no, it's, is that like colorful forehead? Oh, it's El, El Giggle. I've forgotten about El Giggle. Man, that's actually a good emote, but it's so underused these days. It's so underused. Never sees play. Gregan tries to slow the ball down with the storm. He's done so. And now he's whipped up a storm in MK's life. MK is back on the ground, though. He did give Gregan unlimited boost right there. And although he will recover and get the bang, that will be another goal for MK. Can you time out this Gregan guy who's spamming the chat? I know Gregan is like, every opportunity he's just spamming the chat. <laughs> Scrubs writing to me on Steam, I come back to Gregan, how desperate are you? <laughs> That's pretty, pretty savage. Oh, there's a positioning swap by MK. It might not work in his favor though. And he's able to get the save. That was sick. He actually had to backflip to stop his car from going across his own net too fast and he's on the breakaway with the plunger accidentally saves it though if he just dodged out of the way I think that would have been a goal but he saved it unfortunately for him why don't I just save boxing glove it's a haymaker that's what the power ups called oh my goodness the power shot by Gregan absolute boomer did he jump into this yes he did and he managed to not air roll forward before shooting which is Usually how people mess up their power shots. Gregan's saying he's been working on his power shots, but unfortunately for him, I did manage to catch his stream for like 10 minutes earlier, and he missed every boomer that he tried. So I know better than to think that Gregan's fixed his power shots problem. <laughs> I know better. Decent control, MK. Oh, another swap. This is actually going to work out so well. MK's out the play, but the shot goes wild. Gregan definitely needed some more work on that his particular angle. MK's tripped on the goalpost. What is going on? But Gregan has missed the boost and gets banged from behind. It's incredible. Oh, just a little bit of overdone. <laughs> that, that power shot was by MK. There go. Oh my goodness. He gets demoed twice by one unstoppable force power up at the start and at the finish. And there we go. Another. I've seen, we've seen this power up so many times. It's giving the unlimited boost to people. And MK is trying to keep it under control. Gets! Oh my word, what a play! He gets in front of the ball. Gregan makes the challenge. But MK immediately reacts with the plunger. Look at that! Gregan's coming out for the challenge. And MK steers the ball right past him. That was a sick, sick goal by MK. He had to dodge forward just to get into position for that one. But he made it work. And although Gregan gave him unlimited boost. Managing to recover to go two up, two up again. And MK is going to take the ball. Looks like he's uh, decided not to go to the back boost. Gets slammed by the Haymaker. Will this bounce back? Yes, it will. Greg is shooting up to question yet again. This time he has an answer, and it's a good one. Open net finish. Nil. Greg in one. Okay, he's hit it on net. <laughs> he's amazed that he managed to put the shot on net. I think that the biggest thing for people who struggle to do uh, power shots is not air rolling forward before you actually hit the ball. That's the biggest thing. It's making sure that you don't air roll forward. Okay, Greg go for an air dribble. MK has definitely got something that... You, MK has something planned, but Greg has threw a spanner in the works. I don't know what MK had planned for us, but Greg got the floor pinch goal. That was a good recovery. What did he have? I really want to know what... I really want to know what MK had. MK's asked what Gregan had. But I, I'm so curious what MK had. He was sitting so passively on the goal line just waiting. I was, I was sure that he had like a haymaker or a boot or something that could have, you know, just saved just about any shot. But he waited so long. Oh, here we go. Moy guys. And now floor pinch for MK. Oh, he slams it over the bar. 
I don't know what Gregan is doing. Okay, Gregan's going for the plunger counterattack, but really, this was so risky for Gregan. Gregan just like landed way in MK's half. MK ended up passing the ball to him for the plunger shot, which did just creep in at the near post. Oh, Gregan was going for an aerial plunger, but he pretty much landed in another continent. He was nowhere near the ball. There is a limit to the plunger's range, and Gregan went out of the limit right there. Okay, MK will take the ball and face off. He's managed to l lose his lead here with a couple of questionable plays. More air dribble attempts off the wall by MK. The freeze will beat the magnet, but does he have enough to get the ball in? Gregan still, of course, has the magnet. So after the freeze was broken, the magnet took control once again. Yeah, Scrub should definitely rip the intro noise from his 12 Titans. Oh, Gregan misses on the spikes challenge. Freeze by MK, and he doesn't miss on the open net. I was uh, definitely wondering if MK would miss this aerial because when you get like used to aerialing a moving ball, Actually hitting the stationary ball with an aerial is surprisingly difficult, but uh, MK did manage to finish that one. So well played by him. And Gregan's going to take the ball back into his own half. Gentleman's rules prevail. Good thing that these guys are remembering this one. Why wasn't Boomer in the 12 Titans? That's a good question. Very, very good question. <laughs> Am I from UK or North America? I'm from the UK. Gregan gets slammed. MK gets his lead back. Nice boot by MK. Gregan was lining up a power shot clear as well. But uh, he's desperately needing a victory here. He doesn't want to lose in uh, Rumble 1 to Gregan. I believe this game he has definitely been the favorite. He could have scored that haymaker shot into the open net, which did turn into a two goal miss. Flick, challenge by Gregan. You can't miss the grapple challenges, of course, so long as the ball isn't moving towards you too fast. The demo by Gregan, savage. And he will recover for the open net finish. I wonder if MK had any idea this was coming. Because Gregan did uh, signal this one very early. Oh, MK for sure should have jumped over that. He even had the unstoppable force. He could have just ignited it and Gregan would have demoed himself. That would have been amazing. If Gregan just drives across looking for the demo. And then suddenly MK chucks on the unstoppable force. And Gregan gets demoed. That would have been, that would have been quality. I've never seen that before. successfully did my new shot. Oh, the swap challenge by MK. Is this going to work? No, Gregan has the plunger yet again. He's uh, making sure to score into the open net, but he's too slow. MK did manage to recover in time. Magnet play by MK. I think Gregan actually missed that shot at the near post. I'm not 100% sure. But suddenly we're just seeing an absolute plethora of power-ups. Everybody's blasting their power-ups in. Here comes Jazer off the ceiling. Unfortunately, he's uh, not going to connect with that one. Of course, every shot off the ceiling is, is a Jazer. That's just how it is. MK's going to keep this up. He's got a shot on net as well. No power-ups used at the end. I'm very curious to know what they had. Must have been a couple of freezes or something. Gregan will win the ball on the face-off in overtime. Oh no, MK will get back in time. And uh, takes possession. You think if Marky took part in 12 Titans, he would have won. Well, Scrub usually has the better of Marky these days, but Marky might have been able to take down Cux. The dream for Marky would have been him on the opposite side of the bracket from Scrub and Cux, and then Cux beating Scrub, so that Marky could just beat uh, Cux in the final. Oh my goodness, the Haymaker to the upper 90. Really well played by Gregan at the end here. If you take a shot and then blast it with a Haymaker, just a little pop and then the Haymaker. Look at the power that it gives the ball. Much more than if you just... Uh, much more than if you just fire the Haymaker off the ground. Alright, MK down by two. He definitely will feel like he should have won that game against Gregan. The second game was a lot closer. And uh, the two goal miss to give Gregan the equalizer. Or was it to give Gregan the lead? It was either to give Gregan the lead by one or to give MK or to give away MK's lead. Uh, he'll be feeling really bad about that one. The open net haymaker to the crossbar. But yeah, Rumble, like I've said uh, in a few times, is actually pretty viable 
for 1v1s. There we go. The air dribble with the magnet. A strategy I've been hoping somebody would employ. Gregan does whip it out. If you manage to get the ball underneath your car with uh, an air dribble and rumble and uh, you just magnet all the way. Oh, the freeze by MK denies Gregan's easy clear, but it's a tight angle shot and Gregan will make it back in time. He turns himself into Indiana Jones. Close range grappling hook. No wave dash there from Gregan to try and take MK by surprise, but MK can't keep out the normie goal. And he's going to give Gregan a nice shot. But MK, again, choosing not to use whatever power up he had, or maybe just waiting on it. A little bit stranded at the near post there for MK. Did I hear Trump ban cross continent Rocket League play? Aye, that'll be the day. Oh my goodness, imagine. Just ban the internet. <laughs> just ban the internet. Another easy save for Gregan thanks to the Haymaker. Would have been exceptionally difficult for MK to score. I think Haymaker's got to be the best defensive tool in all of Rumble. But there we go, the counter attack right down the middle with the plunger. He's just going to swing this one around the outside. Gregan's going for the center ball. MK's like, nah, let's, uh, let's just go this way, please. <laughs> Did I get to sleep last night? My speech is still brainless. And this is a good question. I mean, I pretty much always have brainless speech. Pretty much always have brainless speech. MK's getting wrecked. Well, I would say it's actually a pretty close series. These guys seem to be a good match for each other in Rumble 1s. Gregan took the first game uh, pretty comfortably, but last game I really feel like uh, MK should have won. And Gregan, will he get this in? Yes, he will. Unfortunately for MK, the Magnet doesn't have that uh, much effect on the ball. Despite, you can see that the Magnet was actually slowing Gregan down, but when MK jumped, uh, I feel like that might have worked against him. When you finally catch stream, but it's Rumble. Oh, rip, dude. But don't worry, we will get some regular games on the go today as well. I'll make sure to cast a, a normal game. What power ups have we got on show? Definitely, I want to see Psionics adding some uh, power up indicators to the game. Oh my word! Upper 90 finish gets denied. Now Gregan's way out of the game. What on earth has just happened? That was wild. We just saw a Haymaker to the crossbar from MK again. And again, Gregan countered with the plunger. But he went for a ri ridiculous rebound. Not even close on that one. As MK ties it up again. He's doing much better on faceoffs now as MK. And uh, I do like this gentleman's rule. I know that lots of people were saying that they didn't like the rule that you just wait in the box. Swap by MK. <laughs> Not going to be... Oh, it is going to be a good one. Gregan actually waited. But no, there's a reason Gregan's waiting. He's got the plunger this whole time. That was a bit of an interesting play. I, I'm really curious to see the first player who can actually make like a sick play with the with the positional location swap. Is Gregan up in the air? I think he just grappled right there. Yes he did. And MK's shots not as venomous as he'd like them to be. There's a couple of shots that have been uh, of the slow variety and Gregan's going to capitalize on this. I don't know what happened here with MK. He somehow managed to pop the ball way into the center. Can I get higher quality streams? Actually, no. This is the highest quality stream that you can get on Twitch. With uh, 60 FPS, you can only do up to 720p. But with uh, on Twitch, with um, I think if you do 45 or 30 FPS, you can. Although 45 isn't really a standard FPS amount, but if you were if you wanted to, you could do 900p on Twitch with. Uh, with lower FPS, but I don't want to lower the FPS. 60 is definitely better. MK looking for a rebound. Gregan is there though. Should probably be the, thinking a bit more about a consistent play because Gregan is capitalizing on all these counter attacks. MK again risking it for the biscuit and not being rewarded. You'll have to go hungry sitting in Gregan's net as Gregan's got the spike goal. Only a 180 backflip for the freestyle. I'm surprised to see less, not, not as much moy on that open net running as I expected. Most people like to do some uh, aileron rolls or some corkscrew spins for the finish. Can I do viewer games? No, I never do viewer games because they're not interesting for me to watch compared to high level games and they're not as interesting for the viewers to watch. The only people who enjoy viewer games is the like six or eight viewers who are actually in the lobby and that's a pretty small percentage of people compared to, you know, collective audience that we have here. That's uh, just why I don't do viewer games. Personally. Okay, I'm okay. back within one goal. It's Gregan's 
boot challenge was ineffective last uh, last goal. Okay, Gregan's been given... Oh, no, wait, I thought he'd been given the unlimited boost, but he's actually just got the unstoppable force. And now MK with the open net running, he's going to do the forward flip. Oh, and he actually managed to catch the ball perfectly here. Gregan, maybe a little bit too much prioritization on the boost there. And he's going to give MK a compliment for the Moy. Low rank viewer versus boomer. Uh, but how do I know, how do I find out what viewers are low rank? The people are just going to lie about their rank and they're actually going to be good. Like, you can't trust people these days. Trust in 2017, lol. Three viewers versus a pro. I mean, again, the only reason that's interesting is because there is a pro in the lobby. What a shot by MK! Managing to control the boomer. This one gets denied by the freeze. Gregan's missed on the stationary ball, though I've said before. It's actually surprisingly difficult to hit the stationary ball. Oh, MK's... The power-up just timed out. He was just a split second too late on that boomer attempt. But he will get the dunk on Gregan's cheeky infield dribble. You can trust your friends. I can't trust my... You guys are so untrustworthy. I always have to listen to check if I'm actually muted. What control by MK, by the way? That's another goal. Even though Gregan has given him the unlimited boost, he's managing to keep it under control. There we go. Cheeky power slide right there. Mid-boost. Just to get the shot. They just give you a seam idea and they can check. Yeah, but it could just be a smurf. It could just be a new account or something. And they could just like give the controller to their friend who's staying over and he's actually really good. Oh, well, this time Gregan... Will, they both have it. I was going to say, will Gregan have as good control with uh, the non-stop boost as MK did? Another air dribble attempt. MK's got to challenge this one and he does. Last time... MK waited a bit too long to challenge, but this time he manages to meet Gregan right on the ground, gets demoed, but he will take the lead by two now. Perhaps this is the start of the comeback. Gregan getting a little bit too cocky, going for the air dribble off the wall, while, up by, while uh, only winning or losing by a goal. Maybe an unnecessary risk on his part. George Sands. Um, like... I don't the I, I don't only look at one's rank when I'm looking to get uh, somebody else stream. Oh, MK didn't go for the floor pinch there, but he's managed to catch it. Interesting play. He got sent up into the air by the storm that Gregan whipped up. Oh, here we go. Floor pinch for MK misses barely, and uh, he should get the win here. But here we go. He's gonna go. <laughs> he's gonna be sent into his own net as Gregan's long range shot with the haymaker sends MK flying. Wait, that wasn't even a lot. I thought it must be a haymaker shot, but it's just a regular shot. Looks like Gregan had a run-up that I didn't spot. Blabbity against Boomer. I would cast that. I would cast Blabbity versus Boomer for sure. But like I was saying, I don't only look at 1v1 rank for to see who I'm going to get on my stream. Oh, Gregan tried to be cheeky there and equalize the game on 0 seconds, which is fair enough. But he does drop game 3 to MK. He actually was just in equalize mode. He forgot that there was gentleman's rules in the face-off. But I mean... Where did the, did the gentleman's reels actually prevail? I'll just do a, a couple of quick shout-outs real quick. Ed, Ed Warrior, 98. Uh, Johnny Boy Smells Like Poop. Al's, Alsgar, GW2. And Lil Rios. All you guys, new subs. Welcome to the channel, guys. Appreciate all the subs. And uh, <laughs> Johnny Boy Smells Like Poop. Definitely, definitely name of the day right there. That's quality. I'll update this, uh, I'll keep updating this sub count as much as possible. Just that you guys who are subbing can see your, see the, the, uh, see what you've done to the sub count. Blind man versus boomer? Blind man gamer versus boomer, huh? Would you reckon that would be a GG? Oh, okay, Greg in this time, haymaker to the crossbar. We've seen a lot of crossbar haymakers right here. They are quite difficult to keep under control. Here we go, MK. Gonna go over a spiral, lands on the wall, another barrel roll would have done it if he just managed to barrel roll into the net. But uh, unfortunately the spike's timed out. Neat Mike versus Boomer now. We don't want to see Neat Mike get 20 milled on stream. That would be unfair. Okay, Haymaker doesn't really send the ball anywhere right there. I'm not sure if that's an interaction thanks to the boot. Like the fact that MK was being booted away at the moment that he used the Haymaker. Did that actually make his Haymaker shot slower? And MK's going to give himself a what a save. He's not feeling too good about this uh, defensive play. 
Gregan just took a long shot. Oh, but MK didn't have enough speed. He just jumped way too early. You're on about twos. You would beat all the pros in twos. But I don't know who you are, my friends. I have no idea who you are. Like, at the end of the day, I'm... Like I said earlier, when I get people on stream, I'm pretty much promoting them. And then, uh... If I don't know who they are, then I'm obviously not going to get them on stream. Unless they get referred to by someone that I trust, like Marky. Or, oh my goodness, that nearly worked. MK, if you'd find that angle, it would have been so sick. Like, if Marky or Scrub or, you know, somebody else who, uh... Who plays at a high level consistently? If they tell me, oh yeah, this guy is legit, you should get him on your stream, then I'll uh, I'll definitely think about it. Oh my god, Savage MK just demolishing Greg in, and you will get the off and on. Beautiful shot off the wall on the net. Really nice finish. He knew he had the time for this, but still to execute it on a limited time frame is very well played. You literally just made the switch account to troll me. That's good. That's what I like to hear. I mean, you subbed, so that's. Very, very good. Very good news. Gregan wins the face-off possession. Did see MK lurking right there, trying to steal it. There's the swap! But the freeze by MK. I was wondering if that's what happened to that shot, because Gregan actually got a throw on target, and then also managed to swap MK out of the net, but he's not able to keep the long shot out of his goal. Freeze by MK, setting up the half volley. Gregan just not respecting that. Yeah, Greg saying when the ball is frozen, it sets up the perfect half volley. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Uh, because a uh, ball falling straight down means that there's nothing, no uh, angle influencing the ball. So you can just line it up, snipe that shot perfectly. Not a very good first touch on the air dribble attempt by MK. Uh, but he salvaged it into something not terrible. Of course, he wanted to touch the ball much further off the wall. Long shot by Greg, and there's a haymaker save. Haymaker coming in clutch in defense, as always. And Robbie Rich RL, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I'll just cut that one in chat before it moved, so I can mention you now. Appreciate the support, buddy. Dragon actually sticking around an attack here. Uh, he's gonna have to recover. Because, uh, he's got some defending to do against the resurgence of MK. He's looking to. Oh, <laughs> okay. That that swap definitely working out in MK's favor. After he realized that his attack was not a good one, just gets swapped immediately back. Another pretty tame shot by MK. Gregan will have no difficulty saving that. Okay, there's the, a pretty smart play by Gregan. <gasps> that nearly went in because what happened is MK tried to use the... He tried to use the plunger, but Gregan swapped MK's position. And the reason it's smart is because Gregan went up onto the ceiling, fell off the ceiling, and then he swapped with MK. So basically, he put MK up there. Oh, he overruns the magnet range. Does Gregan. It's going to time out before he can drag this in. But I want to see more of that. I want to see people swapping uh, their opponent up onto the ceiling. Also, if you're like, if you just put your car upside down, like just jump and flip yourself over, and then swap with your opponent, then of course your opponent, when he arrives in your location, is going to be upside down, and he's going to be wondering, what on earth is this? Why am I upside down? MK with a pass to Gregan for the equalizer. Not a good clear here from the German. Oh, it's Gregan's plunger. Wait, MK swapped? Why would you do that, MK? You, you banana. Lol, you bean. <laughs> that is, this is why we need to see uh, Rumble Power Ups being available uh, for spectators to see. Because I just saw the ceiling swap by Gregan, which would have been a smart play if he had the swap available. But it turns out it was actually MK that swapped. He saw Gregan on the ceiling and thought, yes, this is where I need to be. He saves the shot. What a bean. MK going for the open net freestyle with the spikes. And he ground pinches it into the crossbar. Gregan missing on the demo. But MK has definitely been full bean man for the rest, the, the rest, the last couple minutes. Not couple minutes, definitely the last minute or so. Making a couple, a couple of questionable plays. He's still tied up here, though. What a save, I know. What a save it was. He absolutely beamed the open net shot. And there we go. Greg and storming into MK's life once again. He just wants to be recognized. <laughs> the ball's like spinning around Gregan's head. He's like, will this please settle down? I want to take a touch. Yours triggered deriously. Oh, that's an open net shot. Or a top corner shot, I should say. No open net. I meant to say top corner. Good save though. Another blaster. Towards Gregan's net. He knows that one's off target. 
Let's be careful. That's great again. There we go. The catch with the spikes. And uh, should be a goal. It's so hard to defend against this. And MK will concede. Yeah, yeah, MK saying he hates this. It is very hard to defend. The only way for him to defend this would have been to read perfectly where Gregan was going to take it. So pre-jumping is a must, unfortunately though. No go for MK. And he might be about to lose uh, three games in a row. He's actually the only person to hit the ball in the face-off here. Gregan very slow. MK will dribble it back though. He's going to have faith in his last attack. He needs to score with this one. Going for the bounce dribble. I smell a haymaker. Okay. Oh, it's actually the plunger. Freeze by Gregan. Gets broken. MK equalizes. That is a crazy run of events. So we see MK going for the shot and then trying to get the ball past Gregan. It looks like the plunger actually pulled the ball out of the freeze. I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't even know that was possible. But it looks like the plunger pulled the ball out of the freeze for the equalizer. Wobbler, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate that, buddy. Welcome to the channel. And MK does have the unsupple force. It's on net, but it's going to bounce before the line. Gregan 3, MK 3 in game 4. He could tie up the series right here if MK can win this. If he can win this game. He knows that he has time here because of the gentleman's rule. He can just take the possession and then back off. It's a good face-off win. Gives Gregan the unstoppable force, but Gregan has the power-up that he needed. The one power-up that would have saved him there. And he's going for the Jazer shot and gets it on net. MK with the save, though. I don't know if there was any other power-up that would have saved that for Gregan, because the ball was already past him, and even if he had the Haymaker, he would have probably owned gold. There it is, Haymaker, just as I mentioned it, coming out to play. MK's all out boost here. Gregan with the mind game, but MK just hits the ball. Smart play in defense. And he's going off the ceiling here. It's going to be tough to get down to the ball, though. And the freeze gets immediately shut down by Gregan. Surely this is game. Oh, no, he's taking the slow play, tries to go off and on. Now MK surely with the with the goal that he needs, but he's run the ball off net before the bump. These guys are not being as fast as they could be with their counterattacks. And another opportunity for Gregan. He's probably gonna go up for this. He's gonna absolutely blast it. MK can't keep it out with a magnet. 3-1. Gregan does take the series. Eventually we did have a counterattack being scored there. But MK3. Or MK1, Gregan 3. GG's. Well played. Uh, let me update that sub count again before I forget. I keep updating it every time there's three new subs. So it's climbing up there. We're nearly out there yesterday's total. Nearly. There we go. Gregan just too much for MK in Rumble. Thanks for those thanks to those guys for playing. A caster one a pro. I mean you can ask MK if he considers himself a pro. I don't think he, he would consider himself a pro this game. He's in and about the pro scene, but uh, mostly just helping Jazer in uh, his videos. But MK has also got a YouTube channel of his own, so definitely check that out. Only invited when it's banter games? Of course. I don't want you to just get rinsed by tryharding LFT pros. Like All these pros who come in my stream with LFT in their name, they're like, right, here we go. We're going to show the world that we're ready to join a team. That's fair enough. Of course, I would, I would do the same if I was in that position. I would absolutely do 